and we were told to go after some very difficult targets. So the element that I led was uh, the, ended up being the first non-stealth aircraft to enter the Baghdad missile engagement zone on that very first night of OIF. You all probably know that as shock and awe was the expression that was used for the beginning of that evening's event. Uh, nothing goes as planned, and myself, uh, we were in two strike Tomcats and two Hornets. We were being protected by two Prowler aircraft. We had four Air Force F-16CJ protecting us into that SAM ring, and then we also had four harm shooters off of our uh, F-18s off of our carrier. All that was put in play and in motion for us to be able to penetrate, they called it the Baghdad Super MEZ. MEZ is an acronym for Missional Engagement Zone. So what happened is, is as we take off, everything's going to plan, except the tankers started to break down. And so what happened is for our strike is we started losing some of those critical assets. We lost several of our harm shooters, and there had to be flex that happened during the time that we were headed to the target. Uh, the ringside seat, if you can imagine, over Baghdad, you could see the city lights, and as we were headed in, the Tomahawk missiles were exploding. So as we're on a, on a middle of the night, coming in, seeing all these explosions going off, talking on the radios, and then all of our command and control folks, the Air Force uh, and the E-2s got saturated because there's a lot of activity. And as that's happening, as soon as the Tomahawks ended, the surface-to-air missiles and the AAA came up. And so as we're getting within about 40 to 50 miles of our target, we just start seeing SAM launches. And we know that we're the very first ones in the MEZ from the south, the Super MEZ. At the same time, B-2s have come all the way from Missouri, and they're coming in an opposite altitude, hitting similar strikes to us, 180 out. 